going on everybody? This is Giuseppe Gentile, number 92, also known as Juicy, and welcome back to episode one, part two of Kicking It With Juice. Last week, Emil Cordovez prepared a delicious Cuban meal for me, and find out this week what his other hidden talents are. So I said that maybe we can play some, some FIFA. Oh God. You yes. know what happened when I use my blue glove? <laughs> Everybody's yeah, playing. Okay, I ca can you please, can you please explain and further talk about your blue glove? What is this? Everybody wants to know, right? What is this blue glove about? It's, it's just me, you know, something that give me love every time that I play on somebody. You know? He brought it over! <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead! He loses every game. Let, let, let me show, let me show, let me show, let me get it. Let me get, let me get the glove. So, let's go, let's go check this out. So, the blue glove, I, I usually put my, my blue glove in my, my chair, you know? <laughs> so every time, every time that somebody made me do this, no. <laughs> and get the country in my hand, they're already afraid. They're already afraid because they know what happened. So they escape my, my, my blue, my blue glove, you know? It's, so, no, it's something that give me love every time that I play against somebody, make me feel comfortable with, with the control and everything. And they already know what happened. I do win games. And, you know, I don't claim to be practicing all the time. I don't claim to, you know, be the best. But you know what? There are some times that, you know, I lay it down, you know. I come here, I disrespect him by winning, and I leave happy. He does push-ups too for me. <laughs> okay, he beat me once, 2 1, but this is a third 3 0 game. When I beat him in FIFA, he does push ups for me. Don't lie, don't lie. No, no, yeah, no. don't lie. I, I give you credit, I give you credit. Uh -huh. I give you credit. But he do, he do push it a lot of times too, so. In my mind, I am the best. Wait, are, but, why? Okay, I want to ask you one question. Are you a champion? No. You're not a champion. But how are you? How are you the best if you're not a champion? Because in my mind, I just wake up every day saying, "Hey, I am the best in FIFA. I am the best." So that's why I have motivation for myself. You know, do you, well, I, I have to. Re do you have a, are you a champion in your blood? Yes. Is it in your yes, blood? Yes. 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 Miguel también, otro compañero ha ganado más partidos que yo le he ganado a él. Tengo que aceptar la verdad. But in my mind, I'm a champion. So basically what he said, that I won more games than he did, and Mikael won more games than he did, but essentially he's still a champion because he has that mindset. Él, él es un barbero, he's a barber. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a yeah. semi-professional barber, yeah, yeah. semi-pro. That's what, that's what I know the thing that I learned in Cuba, you know, like, you can close yourself like in life, you know, you have to learn how to do different things, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I cook, I play soccer, I call the hair, you know. If I have to fix something, even even though I don't know, I will try, you know. Because Cuba and we are like that. This is this is Ibiel Cordovez, the barber, the cook, the I mean the master chef, the professional footballer, the handyman. The educator, the Spanish teacher. <laughs> and then what else? Keep going. The FIFA player, the FIFA champion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, take okay. A, take take this in. He's, I, he's the support. barber. He's I'm the support. barber. What is this? Is this is a great cut? He does a really good job. I mean, he's sharp around the edges. I mean, he gives me a nice line, a good fade, and I just leave the top and I put it to the side. No big deal. You know, it's a compliment to you. If I keep asking, that means I like it. That means you're good. Here, give me your hand. Ah! <laughs> I understand that, you know? I understand that, but... Let's address the flickering of the lights. What I don't know what is happening, man. I, I don't know. Is it a bad aura? <laughs> it's like, you know, like you say, bad bites. Bad bites on black. Bad bites. <laughs> he comes over and he, he, he claims to have good vibes and good energy. He's the only one that's angry in the room. I would like to know uh, what you thought of the game. 
The game it was completely a trash game. Don't forget your water. Look, it's a completely a trash game. Really comments, please. Comments, please. Comments, comments, please. Comments, comments, comments. Hey, I don't play for a long time. I come to the house and make everybody upset and stress it. All that's the, what, that's the only thing. All you make us upset and you don't win. I'm the winner, but you make me upset. I am the winner. Every time he says, I come over here and I make you guys angry and you guys are stressing. Bad vibes. No, bro. You're the only one who's mad. <laughs> and then he exits the room, and then I'm just laughing because he's the only one who's mad. That's what I. That's what I say. That's what I. Uh, that's what I do to make them be out of the country. You know? Yeah, he he does this reverse psychology thing that he doesn't think that we don't understand what he's doing. Completely, I know what he's trying to do. His objective is obviously to try to get it in. It. This is exactly this. Try to get into my head. <laughs> Composure. Composure. Um, yeah, also I, I feel like uh, we should uh, check it out reasonable like a little more, you know, like going places because uh, since uh, I've been cold like these past months, we can shed the city like uh, really well, so yeah. we have to... We know that uh, here the, the people of Richmond really love the city, so... If you have any recommendations for us, what we as players can go check out, what we can go do, then we would love to hear it. Um, you know, Cordo and myself, you know, we kind of like to go and, and have a nice talk and sit down outside somewhere in, in the gate. If it's a park or a cafe or, you know, like a cool restaurant or like a museum or something you guys recommend, uh, you know, we're open, we're open to, to hearing it and uh, experiencing it. Um, so, yeah, like you said, we, we, we got to go explore the city. That's all for this week's episode of Kicking It With Juice. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. I know I had a lot of fun doing it, but I just have one last question for you guys. What player do you believe will be featured on next week's episode? Submit your answer in the comment box below, and you're gonna have to wait and see until next week's episode if you were right. See you then. You ready?